Yeah. Yeah, thank you, the sun. The sun, I have to thank the, the sun because it's giving us energy. So I am walking. Oh my God, I didn't even greet. Okay, in Africa, we have Manas. Uh, my name is Herbert. So I'm greeting you. Uh, from wherever you are, I come from Uganda, Africa, but I come from the big world everywhere in the major world. So today is the new month by the time that I'm filming this video. And I have to do it. I didn't have any money today. My biggest supporter, Chris, uh, by the time that you're watching this video, I didn't have money, but remember, like, I started this thing without money. So every time I don't have money, I feel very bad. Because come on, I have to be moving forward, right? If I was in a situation where I didn't have money and God put me in a position where I'm having money, I want to be moving forward. I don't want to ever be back in that position where I don't have money. But this is life, very unpredictable. So it happens that I don't have any money today. No, I have the money that I have is the only money that I'm left with. The money that <coughs> <coughs> like the money that I'm left with is the transport. And I have to budget again with a border here. I'm on the main road. This is a highway. If you can see. This is a highway. So I come on the highway and I bargain to get a bike. I'm gonna just bargain. But I have like, okay, I didn't tell you the money that I have. I have 9,000 Ugandan shillings. And this 9,000 Ugandan shillings is the transport that I have for today. But I, it's a new month. Uh, I didn't want, I, I, like I was setting this goal to myself, like if it's the beginning of the month, uh, uh, it's August. Like they call it August, August. I don't know. It depends from where you're coming from, but I come from Africa and I'm allowed to use that accent. So it is August, August. And uh, I'm beating myself with a challenge. I need to be making videos every day. That's the challenge, whether I have money, whether I don't have money. Because, come on, money is everything, but sometimes not everything. Because you find yourself in situations where you don't have any money. So what are you going to do? Are you going to die? If you don't have money, are you going to die? So that's the situation I'm in. My greatest supporter, Christopher, I told him I didn't have money today. And he told me he doesn't have cash. So, so what am I going to do? I'm just going to try my luck again. So let me just get a bike here. A bargain. Uh, I come from Mukono. Like, I'm coming from Mukono going to Kampala. Kampala is the main city of Uganda. I don't know, I get to Kampala every day, but I spend money in Kampala. And I'm always like asking Almighty God, come on Almighty God. I'm also going to Kampala, like all, most of those guys. I need to make money. So let me try to get a bike and I continue talking because I've been missing you a lot. This kind of video, I wasn't doing it. Sometimes I need a break or two, like Am I allowed to get a break? But sometimes I feel like it was about procrastinating, motivation and all that. I don't know, I'm very late today. Like, yeah, I was saying I'm very late, but I will, at least I, I didn't allow it, hey. Like, I just pray this guy is heading to Kampala. It's about what's here? Jendi, come on, Kampala, to Bolivar. Bolivar. Yeah. You give me twenty k. Ah no no, I have four k. Kampala. Yeah, I have four k. Because I'm not even going there. It's okay. So that guy is charging me ten thousand Ugandan shillings, but my budget is four thousand Ugandan shillings. So I have to be. I have to be on the road and wait, wait more and more to get a bike. I don't know. Yeah, I was saying like, the challenges, yes, I have challenges, but 
will I be talking of the challenges that I have year to year, year to year, year to year? No. So I'll try to get a border. I, I don't know, my hand sometimes. It's, but I have to cover the other. I don't want people to think like I'm recording them, no? That's why like, I record with this hand. Because I get to cover the camera. So what's the letter? Come on, Kampala. Kampala, say it. You're bad, Nanya. I take it that way. Yeah, so finally I've gotten a border bike. Yes, I use that word border because here in Uganda we call them border. I just found them, these guys call it border. Yeah, but it's a motorbike. from just a video from just making a video because they tell us that the rich people okay the companies are producing they produce right so if we can also I'm also producing a video I produce something so I need money because a video is just a video I will use it as a chat to express myself to manifest everybody out there to get you yeah. I don't know. like I was saying like to get you in my life Papala. and this journey here like okay by the time that I'm filming this video why I really record these videos because I want to change my life it's the main thing to change my life Yes, I can cry all day, but I will not cry the whole month. You want me to cry the whole month? And no, I won't do that. I will be strong. Then I'm learning to tap into the abilities of a man because, like, most of the people that I see here are men. I take a long time without seeing females on the road. I don't know. We're having this. We are stopping. Like I was saying, like. I'm learning to tap into that manhood because I need to be a man. Christopher is a man. Christopher has two kids. He has a wife. Somehow, somehow it defines your manhood, but having a family. Yes, like 
I feel like yeah, yeah. When you have a family, somehow, somehow it defines your manhood. But what will you do when you don't have a family yet? Yeah. So the road has its chronicles. Yeah. So we all need to eat and yes, like we all need to eat. But eating, I've been eating like Christopher, thank you. Christopher is you hear me talking of Christopher, yes. Christopher like is my greatest support. Supports me financially, supports me emotionally and but Christopher, thank you. I've been eating every day. But life is very funny. Like, I'm learning to learn about life. That is very funny. Why? Because you get hungry and you want to eat, but you can't even finish the food. Like, why I don't like eating from restaurants because I am a chef I know how to cook food I know how to cook food but because I find myself in situations where I'm not in, I'm not a, a having a home by the time that you're watching this video I'm struggling to have a home my own home that's why I'm struggling to get my own home and uh, I'm just wishing and praying so we pray. They say like they say all things come from God. Almighty God, Almighty Allah. So I'm just waiting for that time for God to send me a home because I badly need home. I, I can tell you yesterday it was raining. Yesterday it was raining and I felt so terribly bad because like whenever it rains, I just want to go back home and coffee like dabazungu <laughs> I don't know in Africa like <laughs> in Africa but I will use Uganda I use Uganda as a reference because Uganda is my country I can use Tanzania I can use Kenya I can use Nigeria but because of, of reasons uh, I love to use Uganda because Uganda is my country so they see these things like most of the people that try to live that amazing life, we call them Bazungu. Before it was about color and you could look at these guys and you say, oh, these are Bazungus, the white people. But then I realized it wasn't about uh, the color, like you call them Bazungu. It's not about the color, it's, it's about the way, their ways of life, the way they look at things and all. Sometimes it's, it's really far, far off. No, you can. Yeah. yeah, so like I was saying, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the struggles of life, but like I was wondering, like, I'm seeing most of my, uh, I don't know, it's not comparison. No, I don't compare myself to anybody, and you shouldn't. But because sometimes we need to learn from other people. So, I think I, the next time I have to get my own border. <laughs> like, I have to pay for a full border because today is. I think I, I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, this camera today. Okay, like I was saying, <laughs> you don't have a. You don't have to ever compare yourself with anybody. Whether they have five Lamborghinis, whether they have ten Maseratis, whether they have, I don't know, whatever kind of wealth you don't have because you are one person, you are one. But we need to learn from other people. We need to 
to learn from other people. And sometimes I just look at this. But I will just do the work. Every time I think I should be. Oh, I don't know. I feel I feel like there's some inconvenience. I will try to do the work. Yeah. So these are the challenges. Some of the challenges that you have to face when you are the film, like when you are the cameraman. You are the cameraman. You are the director. You are the actor. Uh, you are the script writer. So everything you face it yourself. <laughs> and then you have the personal consciousness, like you you know that this is reality. I'm on a border, like come on. I have to be conscious because you never play from that road. And the highway. I don't know. You forgive my quality today. Sometimes some days are not good days. Okay, every day is a good day, but because of the, oh, I think I should change my camera. But I, don't I think I would have changed the camera and used another hand. Like this hand is so, it's, it's inconveniencing me. It was very fine when I was alone at the border, but now I'm like I'm with another person. It's like I can't go. I don't want my to inconvenience another person because of my needs, no. I'll just feel the way that okay maybe that today the film has to come out like this. So it's 2024 man. Can you believe it? By the time that okay. I'm filming this video, I don't want to sometimes to scale my videos. But because I am a, a human being and I'm alive. I have my reality and by the time that I'm filming this video is 2024 I can't believe it that this is August like I can't believe it is August like I remember like the way I was struggling in January like I was struggling in January I was like this year like what am I going to do like what am I going to do oh my god what am I going to do to move on like if even if today I don't eat any food in my belly even if today I don't okay I don't have money for food today and I'm not going to eat that's the reality I'm not going to eat that's what shows you that this thing that you are in or called us sometimes you look at it and you wonder it doesn't care whether you are alive whether you want I don't know. That's my bad thinking. I'm my, it's my bad, but just got, I'm, I'm just rest assured that today is day. But like, okay, the time right now is day. But within some few hours, it's gonna be night. So it's already August. I've been working on the plan that I was that I set for myself. Yeah. I feel like at least here, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to execute that plan. Like, if you ask, you go randomly, you ask people what have they done since the year began. Yes, they will tell you they are making money, they are working. Yes, that's great because we need to eat, we need to work. Life is about working. Whether you're working for money, go on and you work for money. Whether you're working up to something, yes. Me, I've been working on this YouTube channel. like. That's what I've been doing the whole year. If you meet me right now, like if you meet me right now, like right now, I'm on a border right now. 
filming a video for YouTube. That's what I've done the whole of this year. Making videos every day, every day. Like, I stream, I, I, I stream like for four hours, three hours, two hours, one hour, but I try and I do it. So, the whole year, like, it's, I don't know, August is like, it's, let me let me count. I'm not very good with mental because I don't like those things mental. It brings cram work. So let me count January, February, March, April, May, July, August. Oh my God! So August is I don't know the blessings. I'm just looking for the blessing that will come with August because you are from January. January, I've been making videos every day. It's only that last month, July. Like, it's only the last month, July, where I didn't make any videos. But I've been making videos. So I don't know how you're going to judge me. This is what I've been doing the whole year. Find somebody who rides a bike. And I will tell you this whole year they have been riding like they they were riding the bike. If you ask, if you meet somebody with a taxi, I will tell you they've been doing a taxi. So my life is so uncertain, but I feel like all the uncertainties that are in my life. I feel like at least I've filmed it. It's not physical. It's not physical at all. But I feel at least I've filmed every challenge. I filmed my life when I was struggling. It's on film. Every video that you see on the channel right now, I was struggling. Struggling financially, struggling mentally, struggling with life, struggling. This like kind of life, this life of struggling, just struggling. But it gives us purpose. It gives us purpose. For example, like, you know, like, life is full of misery, suffering, and all that. But it's all purpose. I was like, I felt like when I, I didn't have money today, and I was like, oh my God, I don't like this life. I don't love the life of not having money because I know how it feels like. I know already how it feels like when you don't have any money with you. You won't eat. Like today I'm not going to eat anything. And the reason is why I didn't have any money because those guys are not my friends. Because we're living in a world where there's capitalism. Capitalism is good, yeah. But I loved the African traditional society. I loved it, though we cannot have it anymore. <laughs> like, for example, like that restaurant. That re I've been telling you, like, I've been eating, right? But I've been eating from a restaurant. I don't like restaurants. But because when I get to Kampala, I'm not at home. I can't cook. I have to buy food from the restaurant. That's the only reason why I buy food from the restaurant. But I don't like their food because I'm a chef. I just test their food and I know it's not good. But I've been buying there for, for like the whole month. I've been buying food from a restaurant. But today I don't have any money. So those guys, I've been buying from them every day. But I can assure you, they cannot today. They cannot. Even if I go there and I tell them, oh my God, I'm a customer. I've been buying from you every day. But today I don't have any money. That's what they will do to me. They will tell me, get out. So I know how it feels like when you don't have money. I don't want to be in that kind of life. And I don't wish it to anybody. I feel like sometimes God, uh, Almighty God, I don't like using the word God. I just love to use the word Almighty. Because like when I say God, sometimes it's, it's, it's like just a word but I want to add that almighty I was in a mosque I'm not a Muslim but I pray so one time I was in a mosque 
and these guys I was reading in their books and they referred to Allah's Almighty Allah so since that day I just love to refer to God Almighty God uh, to all as Almighty Allah Almighty God it is nothing it has nothing to do with religion and all that no so like I'm, I've been filming like I've told you I've filmed my challenges so I don't know by the time you're watching this video how is my life that's the major reason that I'm asking my life if I'm alive by the time that you're watching this video my life has to be in a better position and that position I promise you that has to be the position that I have fought for so life has really put me in a position where I have to come out and get like angry but because the world has so many good people out there man the world has so many good people out there like Christopher man so sometimes I get angry because of my situation because of my disappointment because of my failures because of I don't know because of any excuse that I can put on my life but life is very funny like when I decide to, to judge myself I can decide to judge myself and I call myself unworthy because of my challenges, my failures but because the world has good people out there like Christopher, Christopher is a good person Daniel Joe is a good person, he's a good person so those kinds of people man they make me try to to be like to like to love myself because they are so good those restaurant people I pay their money every day but they cannot be good to me because our relationship is money you get even if I buy from that restaurant food for the whole year and I come just one day and I tell them today I don't have money they will tell me get out but in African tradition society, that's not how things were. I wasn't in the African tradition society, but I just read about it. Like community wise, solving issues like a community. But capitalism, everybody needs money. So, how can you be my friend? Like, when our relationship is only money? Only money, so we, don't, we can never be friends in this world, right? Christopher is my friend. That's the truth. Have you ever heard me telling you that this person is my friend? No. I don't just call anybody my friend. No, 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 no. I'm way past that. When I was young, I didn't know what friendship meant. I thought like everybody that I talk with is my friend, no? But now I'm grown. I know what friendship means, like friendship is support, friendship is being there for somebody, Friend friendship is believing in somebody, friendship is way beyond money, like you cannot be my friend if our relationship is only money, those guys, even if I eat from that restaurant for 10 years, those people can never be my friends, they cannot, we can never be friends with those guys in a restaurant, okay for example like everywhere that I use money, that's the, you know, like, that's, that's the, how do they call it, the karma. That's the karma. Capitalism, we use money, right? We use money in capitalism. That's good, because everybody needs money, right? But we can never have a relationship. We can never have a relationship because without money, me and you, we are not there. That's why I don't call anybody my friend. And if you, you ask me, like, how many friends do you have? I'm sorry, I'm going to disappoint you in my own country. Like, I was born from this country. I've grown from this country. But if you ask me, like, how many friends do you have in your country? I've told you I don't call anybody, just my friend. Not, even if we stay together in one household. Oh, these guys. Man, these guys want to fight. <laughs> Anger, anger management. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, like, man, I don't believe in anger. I believe you 
can get angry, but I don't believe in getting physical. Me, like, whenever I get to Kampala, I'm always angry at people because I see what they are doing and all that. But because I love myself, I wouldn't want to get trouble or physical with anybody, no? Why would I want to get bubble or physical with anybody? I've been seeing these guys fighting on the road. <laughs> this guy there, this guy threw a bottle to the other border bike, the other boat, the other man on the bike. Yeah, so like I was saying, you can't be my friend when how can we be different friends? Like I need friends. Like that question, so let me answer that question. How many people are my friends in my own country? I come from this country called Uganda, but ask me. For example, eh, this life is really very funny. You know that siren? That siren is very normal when you are not the person in that ambulance. Or the person that you care about is not in that ambulance. You can hear that siren. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. It's very normal that siren when you are not the person in that ambulance or the person that you love is not the one in that ambulance because I have ever had the person that I loved, my father my father was once in an ambulance but I can tell you that siren wasn't a normal siren that like that siren that I'm hearing right now it wasn't normal that siren was hitting my heart because that was my father in that ambulance, man. It was my father. So whenever I see an ambulance, yeah, I'm just praying for that person who is in that ambulance. But in Africa, like some people abuse their powers. So you can find that ambulances. I don't, I don't want to judge them. But because I know I know how people in Uganda act. So you can find that it's an ambulance when it's empty and these guys just want to, to make a way for, them, for themselves. But if there's anybody in that ambulance, you don't know me, I don't know you, but our souls. So I'm just praying for you to get better, man. If you're a woman, you get better. If you're a child, you get better. If you're a man, you get better in that ambulance. Yes, life is so precious. Life is so precious. Everybody needs life. I don't know if my kids need life. I've never had kids. I've never had kids. I don't know when I will have kids. When I get hungry, I will not tell you at myself. I tell myself I will not give back. Yeah, that's so me when I. I get angry like my country it's very hard to survive in this country if you're not a hustler or what there are systems they are so I don't know we have systems but I don't know so 
when I get very angry, I tell myself I will not have kids. I will, I will die without giving birth. But then when I get to my senses, oh my God. Like, but when I get to my senses, I just admire. Yeah, like, oh my God, it's, that's a rain, like, hey, it's not a normal siren when you are the one inside. When you are the one inside that ambulance, man, you are So, or if it's your loved person in that ambulance, you can feel that siren for real. I don't know. So I've been talking from the time that I have bought this bike. But I need to enjoy the ride and this. I get you involved, but I need to have some, it's called a futa. Like that's in Luganda. It's, Luganda is the language that we use here, mostly. We use English and Luganda, but mostly Luganda. And Lunyankola is also coming up. Yeah, Lunyankola, here are people speaking. Okay, those are things that, I think those are the main languages people speak here in Uganda. English, Luganda, and Lunyankola. I think why people speak Luganda because, of course, Luganda is the central region. The capital city is in the central. The central mostly is occupied by Baganda. English, they tell us the reason as to why Uganda we speak English because we are colonized. We are colonized by the British. So that's why we speak English. associated with the Banyan College and I, 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 I see tribalism, Banyan College, Baganda, I don't like the tribes, okay I love tribes but I don't love tribes man, I just love Uganda as a whole, that's why you can never hear me talking of my tribe, you can never hear me, you come here the Baganda want to be the Baganda, the Banyan College want to prove a point, then this it's all tribes, 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 tribes. I don't love it. If you like, I want to be in that Uganda where like tribes should just be our culture, but they shouldn't represent us. Like for example, like I don't like like it's not hate, no. I don't hate tribes, but I don't like because they bring more harm than good. They bring more harm than good. They divide us. But I love it for the fact that it's culture and all that. But because they divide us, that's why I don't like. I don't like the tribes. The Banyankole want to prove that oh, they are the. They, they, this country belongs to them. The Baganda are also arguing. Oh, this is us, the Baganda. So you people who are not Baganda, who are not uh, Banyankole, where are you? <laughs> So, so that's why I don't like tribes and I don't like religions but I respect tribes and I respect religions but because they divide us that's why I don't like it yeah so this is the time where I have to be smiling for the camera I have to smile for Christopher I have to smile for everybody out there and I send my love like the love like the world needs more love we need more love we need to love ourselves more I, um, I need to love my failures, I need to love my success, I need to love everything, whether good or bad about me, I need to love it. So I need to be smiling, smiling, smile is a, it's a sign of love. Uh.
Yeah, so that smile, I don't know, those guys are done. So before I even, I've reached in the capital city. This is the capital city of this country called Uganda. If you've never heard of Uganda, Uganda is a country located in Africa. So if you want to come and if you, you know, you're planning something for vacation, I think Uganda should be one of the countries you you come and visit, my God. You can come and visit Uganda. Maybe one time you can find me on the streets. <laughs> Maybe one day you will find me on the streets of Kampala. But you have to come and visit Uganda. Come on, come on. You have to come and visit Uganda. You come and see these people here, these Africans. And you look at us. Yeah, you come and see us. You come and intermarriage with us. You come and you come and do everything with us. Like the borders are not there anymore. We are living in a world where borders are not there anymore. They are, the governments do everything to divide us. But we will, we will fight for love. We will fight for humanity. We will fight with love. We will not never fight with guns. Guns don't represent us. Guns, people that carry guns are the greatest cowards. Because they can't... Like people who carry guns are the greatest cowards. Because they can never point those guns at themselves. They point those guns at other people. You point that gun at yourself and you shoot. You carry that gun every day. You carry it, shoot it at yourself. Then you are the bravest person I've ever seen in my life. So before I even forget, I just need to tell you how much I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I just love you. And I can, that's my cross, like Jesus carried the cross for our sins that's what the bible says like jesus carried the cross for our sins i'm gonna carry the cross for the love because i love you i love you like really love you i'm on a border do you, have you, do you know what a border means a border means like you sit quietly and you don't talk but me have talked for 40 minutes now because i love you and you have to look after yourself, take good care after yourself, love yourself, believe in yourself. I love you. I will love you. I will love you and I will love you. Take good care after yourself.